They came along and said, could we have it at Sandringham? So I said, yeah, help yourself. Do you, think, do you think Sandringham is a good site for a driving trail? Oh, I think it's an ideal site because it's uh, sand is soiled practically everywhere and it's hard and there are miles of sort of farm tracks and, you can, and there's a park, I mean, it's not a very big one, but it's quite big enough to get all the obstacles in. I just thought in many ways it, it would be difficult to find a better place. being such an enthusiastic exponent of the sport, I suppose it was almost inevitable that driving should come here to Sandringham, and as it happens, it's the Norwich Union driving trials. Well, during the last few months, we've been following the progress of three of the 90 competitors here, all of whom pursue their sport with consuming passion, but in vastly differing styles. Prince Philip himself, a Suffolk blacksmith, Andy Mills, and Karen Bassett, who we visited at her home in Surrey. Steady. Oh, good boy. There can be good few 19-year-olds who've remained true to their first loves. Karen's was a Shetland pony that she drove when they were both eight years old. At 13, good she boy. had a team, and three years later, she was National Pony Team's champion. Today, she trains other people's Shetlands because her own have retired from competitive driving. Good boy. Good boy. Their replacements at the Bassett Menagerie at Bear Green are a sort of horsey version of Dalmatians called British Spot ponies. And the self-appointed boss of Karen's new team of stallions is Piranha. Five years old, 11 and a half hands high and impulsive to say the least. For competitions involving an arduous 18 miles speed marathon, ponies must be as fit as racehorses, achieved over the weeks by a relentless daily training routine. And shorten the... Unlike some of her more affluent rivals, Karen owns only one carriage. Built by her father, it's safe and workmanlike for the marathon, but hasn't the elegance required for the first phase of all three-day events, presentation and dressage, which she'll be practicing today. So what polish her carriage lacks must be compensated for by a polished performance. The 11 movements of the dressage test, like a dance routine, must be learned and worked at. And mother, Mary Bassett, Good. is a stern critic. Slightly wavery there. Oh. Don't go too quickly into it, because they'll lose their balance, Karen. A little bit slower into it. Walk on, boys. Good lads. Walk on. Trot. Well done. Extension across the diagonal. Steady. Trot five counts. Trot. Well done. Trot. Forward. Trot. Ease round the corner. No, go on. Run up. Having my mother here is a great boost to me because she's pointing out things that I cannot see from the top of the carriage. She can see the pace better than I can. 
and she can see whether the ponies are dropping in on the corners and general outlook. She can see the side of the ponies, whereas I can only see their backs. Right, start your circle. Whip in one hand, reins in the other. Slowly round. Well done. You can keep polishing this because after a dressage you have a sheet back and it says what you've done wrong. And this is very helpful. Oh. And balanced. Back. Right, rain right back, Karen. Back. Back. Come on. Back. Okay. The carriage that we're using today, I usually use for all three phases. Oh. Luckily, a neighbour, Michael Frith, has lent us his posh Phoenix carriage, so we hopefully will do better in presentation at Sandringham. OK. Yeah. Karen, until now, when you've only had one carriage, has it been your presentation that's let you down? Yes, until now. Yeah, we used to have you know, use my little blue vehicle, which my father made for me years ago. We'd use it at home, and then we'd spend hours painting it for a show, and we could never match the standard of this. Most people, it seems, take up driving when they've given up some other rather more active form of riding. I'm thinking of Prince Philip, for instance, who took up driving when he'd given up polo, but you took it up when you were eight years old. Now, what was it about driving that got you so hooked on it? Um, well, my father used to drive a team, and I used to groom for him. But a lot of the time, he didn't have time to take his team out. And then one day, he just gave up. So, and by that time, I'd started driving a single and a pair. And uh, I used to sort of sneak the ponies out the field and go off for a drive with the team. And it was just really great. Now, it's entirely your way of life. Yeah, it is. Entirely. How much effort do you put into it? Uh, a hell of a lot of work goes into it. Not only from myself, but the whole family's involved. My father builds and makes most of the harness.